happening everybody? My name is Gigi and welcome to Anime Palooza. Today I've got something a little different for you while I'm on vacation. I am going to be putting up a bunch of little backlog videos that don't have to be as time sensitive as my normal videos. So today for you I have my top 7 bucket list anime. What is a bucket list anime you might ask? Bucket list anime is an anime I would really like to watch before I die. Just you know like the movie The Bucket List with the old men where they're doing a bunch of crazy shit. I don't know, I've never seen it. I'm just assuming that they're old men doing a bunch of crazy shit. Since everything in this channel runs in sevens, I don't have a top 10 or a top 5, I have a top 7. And these are the anime that I really would like to complete someday. And for some reason or another, they're really difficult for me to do so. Whether it be because they have a shit ton of episodes, or they're not licensed in America, or nobody has subtitled them, or they're just something I'm having a really hard time getting a hold of or getting through. I will tell you right now, there are two shows that are not on this list that could have gone on this list, but it would get way too confusing. The first one is Pokemon, and it's only not on here because this is the way for the other one too, but there are so many different series of it, it's kind of like cheating. Yeah, I want to watch every single episode of Pokemon, but didn't you watch them all if you get through all the 300 plus that are listed on my anime list? Well, no, because there's a million different seasons of it. So that one's not going to count, but yes, one of them is Pokemon. The other one is Pretty Cure, Pre-Cure, all the seasons of that there's so many different series and it's kind of cheating if I just say yeah I want to watch all of Precure. There's like ridiculous amounts of anime which eventually I do one day but since I can't even get past like 20 episodes on the first series I don't know how well I'm gonna do with that. So Pokemon, Pretty Cure, maybe one day when it can all be packaged in a nice little box or I learn Japanese and can watch it without subtitles and getting incredibly confused. Those out of the way, here are my top seven bucket list anime in no particular order. Neighborhood Story, I believe the Japanese title for this is Gokiginjo Monogatari. I know the Monogatari is in there, not sure about that first word. But Neighborhood Story is by the same person who created Nana and Paradise Kiss which are two of my favorite anime and manga of all time. This came before both of them. So it goes Neighborhood Story, Paradise Kiss, and then Nana comes after that. Neighborhood Story is the predecessor to Paradise Kiss, whereas in the characters, some of them from Neighborhood Story are in Paradise Kiss. And I was like, God, I guess I should never watch Paradise Kiss because I can't track down all the episodes of Neighborhood Story so I can watch it before. OCD was going fucking nuts. Finally I said fuck it and I just watched Paradise Kiss and oh my god, it's so good. Neighborhood Story is about, I believe her name's Masato. It's the girl who has all the changing hairstyles with the, the one who's dating the dude with the lip ring and everything. Her sister is the lead in Neighborhood Story and what later becomes her husband in Paradise Kiss is the other dude. Now they live close to each other and basically what it is, they all go to fashion school just like Paradise Kiss but this is way more comedy than Paradise Kiss. Basically just a story of their little apartment building and their little neighborhood and everybody growing up together and falling in love and having drama stuff. Normally I would say no to a school slice of life anime but this is more of a romance and a drama and I really want to watch it. I started watching it. The bad part is is that number one it's not available anywhere legally to watch it. Number two if you can track it down more than half the episodes don't have subtitles and it's a long-running show and the rest of them are nowhere to be found. It's also really old. Maybe someday it might get license rescued. Maybe if the creator of Nana ever finishes Nana, it'll be like a whole resurgence for her career and everything will come nicely packaged together in a box set that I will pay thousands of dollars for because I really want it. I really want to watch Neighborhood Story and if anybody can tell me where to find like past episode 15 subtitled, I would pretty much love you forever more than just your face, like all of you. So Neighborhood Story, let's make this shit happen. Next on my top 7 bucket list anime is Kimagure Orange Road. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, we'll just pretend that I did. 
I don't know a whole lot about this anime except that it was licensed once and is now incredibly hard to find to the point where I can't find any of it except for like a movie. And it's supposed to be one of the greatest romance anime of all time. Now, they said that about Mason Ikoku too, which I watched the entire thing of. And it didn't get to be very much of a romance until like the last 15 episodes. There's over a hundred, but I digress. I want to see it. <laughs> I have Jones for old anime, especially the long running series, and I feel that I should watch this one if I just want to be educated in anime that was made before I was born. I don't know when it came out. At the top of my head, I'm just guessing. I love romance anime, so I'm gonna watch any of it I can find. And if it's really good that people are still talking about it decades and decades later, then I guess I really have to watch it, right? I don't have a lot more to say about Kimigure Intro because I don't know anything else about it. If anybody knows where I can buy it for cheap, by cheap, I mean like not a thousand dollars please let me know because I can't find I can't even find it on Amazon you know if you can't find this shit on Amazon <laughs> that it's like not happening so number two in no particular order Kimigure on Droad it's not about oranges right that would be awkward next up we have Legend of the Galactic Heroes this is like so not me in so many ways but so me in so many ways First off, I hate shows that take place in space, but I like long running shows and this show has been running for what, like 10 plus years, more than that. There's like 100 OVAs of it or something. It's really long so I feel that I have to tackle it. I want to say it's not all about space. I'm hoping it's not all about space, like there's some like interpersonal relationships and stuff going on because if it's all about space I'm going to be really bored. But I want to see what all the hype is about and I want to see for myself if it's something that I would like. I just hope it doesn't have giant robots. But I want to watch Legend of Galactic Heroes. Also, it's not licensed so you can't find it anywhere. So there's that. So we've got Hunter Hunter. Not Hunter Hunter 2011, the original Hunter Hunter. At one point this was licensed, I believe, by Viz. I know because I've seen previews of it on some of my DVDs that I own, uh, but I don't think they ever finished it and I can't find it, I can't rent it, I can buy it on Amazon for some ridiculous price, but that's not going to happen. I don't know if it had a dub or what, but I love Hunter x Hunter 2011 and I want to see what the original was about. I debated before I even started it if I should track down the original first just to watch it because hello OCD. but. You know, I didn't, and I started watching 2011, and I am in love with it. So I would really like to compare and contrast the two versions and see what's different, what's the same, which one I would like more, because I do really like retro anime, but I also really like 2011 Hunter Hunter. Hunter Hunter, the original. Why are you not in my life? Why are you so hard to find? Like, Viz does this. They'll, like, license something and it'll be sort of popular for a while and then you can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I'm looking at you Mason Ikoku because some of your shit is impossible to find. This anime might be a little easier for me to track down some of it or parts of it now because it's just recently been picked up by Crunchyroll. It's Detective Conan or the English Funimation version is Case Closed. I've watched over a hundred episodes of this already. But Funimation only licensed the first five seasons, which blows <laughs> because I really like the dub. I thought it was really good. And it's also a very talky show. So I would imagine, I've never watched it in Japanese with subtitles, but I would imagine that it would be very complicated for me to follow while I'm trying to read all the little subtitles that are there along with the subtitles of the dialogue and just Japanese all the time. It makes the brain dying. Now this show is still running, it is over 700 episodes long. Hello Jones for long running anime. Luckily it's episodic. I don't think that matters though because I'm still going to watch them in order anyway. I mean I track down the movies and watch them in order with the series so there's that. But Funimation has like the first 120-ish episodes and Crunchyroll I guess is going to start picking the series up from level level from episode 700 on. That leaves about 600 episodes unaccounted for. <laughs> Impossible. It's so hard. And I really just want to watch it dubbed. I don't want to watch it subtitled. I want to watch it dubbed. 
I realize it made Funimation absolutely no money, but if we give Jerry Jewel like a sandwich or something, can't you just dub it? Yeah, let's buy him like some chili dogs and throw him in the booth and make him talk a lot, okay? Okay, so Detective Conan. I'd really rather watch Case Closed, but I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it! Two more to go and then we are done for the time being. The next one on my list is Saint Tail, otherwise known as Kaito Saint Tail. It actually was licensed once upon a time by Tokyo Pop. I've heard rumors of there being a dub, but I've never been able to find any episode that has a dub in it. And I've started this, I've started watching it subtitled, but again, it's one of those that are impossible to find and impossible to buy. If you've not seen Kaido Saint Tail, it is about a little girl whose parents are magicians and she becomes a phantom thief, phantom thief, hence the Kaito, and she basically is like Robin Hood. She steals from people who have these objects that aren't theirs to begin with and gives them back to the original owners. She helps out this nun in a church and there's a little tiny police detective in training who's trying to catch her. It is a magical girl show, kind of. She uses magic, but not to the point where it's like super magic, like she steals magic tricks from her parents and stuff. And she has a top hat she pops out of, oh, so hello, I like it. And it's really cute. Like I've seen six episodes or something of it. I just, for some reason, have not continued it. But I really want to watch Saint Tail. I want to finish it, even though it's probably going to be really episodic and nothing's going to happen. It's going to be like the Sailor Moon filler all over again. But I like Saint Tail. It's a, an adorable show and it is on my bucket list. And she's wearing, well, she doesn't wear a top hat, but she has a top hat. So she's cool. Finally, the last anime I want to finish sometime in my lifetime is Kodosha. This may seem kind of silly because Funimation did license it but they only licensed half of it because it, once again, did not make them any money, so they stopped dubbing it. Kodocha is about this girl, I believe she's like grade school, kindergarten-ish age, and she has her own TV show. Now, in the onset, it sounds kind of like a really bad children's anime, but as the episodes get further down the line, it gets more and more serious. Themes in it are just like, kind of like them growing up, like the kids growing up, gets more serious with the parents involved. It's really not as childlike as it would seem in the first couple of episodes. Plus it has a lot of music and it's really, it's a cute show, but I do remember when I watched the first half of it that I was like crying at some points in it. This is not news for anybody because I like fucking cried at the drop of a hat, but I cried <laughs> and it was just cute. It was really nice to watch. But it's only halfway done and the other half that's in Japanese, I think I watched maybe one episode of it. Kodocha, well her name's not Kodocha, what the fuck's her name? Sana. <laughs> she grows up and goes to middle school. I definitely didn't like it as much as I did with the English dub. Like the songs were all different and it wasn't Laura Bailey. <laughs> so I was just kind of like, mm, kind of over this. But I would like to finish it eventually. I know it probably will never get dubbed again, but once again, can't, well, Laura Bailey, like, does stuff. Can't we buy her, like, if we pitch in and, like, buy her a bike or something, can she come finish it? Because I just want to hear the little sauna raps and shit, like, happening. So the last anime on my top seven anime that are on my bucket list, that was a mouthful of fucking title, the last anime on this list is Kodocha, preferably in English preferably in English. Congratulations, you have made it to the end of my first top list video while I'm on vacation, the top seven anime on my bucket list. So what's on your anime bucket list? Is it something with a lot of episodes or something that everybody's talking about? Something that you can't find that you would really like to watch? Or something that's brand new or something, you know, I mean, there's so many anime out there, you're clearly not going to watch all of them in your lifetime, but what's one? What's one that you just can't get out of your head but you just can't watch for some reason that you need to see before you choke? Leave it down in the comments below and let me know if you like these little top list videos. It was kind of fun to think of all the things that I was writing about. I have a couple more coming, but it's not like this. so. 
let me know if you have a top list of anything if you'd like to hear my opinion about like my top seven reverse harems that's probably gonna happen top seven anime I will never watch I think I did that on my blog once I don't remember leave them down below I'll see what I can do when I get back from vacation and until then love your faces like, oh god, does this girl ever fucking change clothes? It's like a month later and she's still wearing the same fucking outfit. Bitch, please, called film four videos in a row, like a boss. Alright, now I'm at the point of the day where I hope my camera doesn't run out of battery at a bar. And somebody's like, well, what's one weird thing about you? And I was like, well, I want to watch every episode of Pokemon before I die. Pikachu forever. And they're like, yeah. Maybe this is why I'm single. <laughs>